He is lying there completely helpless. I'm in the corner of the room just trying not to make a scene with my husband, um, completely overwhelmed with alarms and beeping and wires, and his lungs just went into total failure. This is always the worst part of our jobs. It is the winter RSV season. Every single year, we take care of very, very sick children who cannot breathe, who need to go on ventilators. We deal with families who are distraught, watching their tiny infant struggle to breathe. So Weston's case started off like a lot of kids with serious RSV infection who end up in the pediatric ICU. He was struggling to breathe. He needed to go on mechanical ventilation. But what got scary about his case is that even the ventilator wasn't working. We weren't able to get him the oxygen he needed. We weren't able to clear that carbon dioxide from his body. My husband, I remember him being like, I have to get out of here. I need to go for a drive. And I remember saying to him, if you go, he may not be alive when you get back. And that was terrifying. We were able to get him through, but it was a long, scary, fraught course. It was scary for the family, and it was hard for us. I mean, as a pediatric intensivist, I'm used to ventilators. But when the ventilator's not working, that's when we get really worried. RSV is a virus, which means there is no specific treatment. There's no antibiotic or anything else we can give your child to make it go away. We just have to support the child through the illness. And it's hard. It's hard to see children struggle to breathe and not have a specific treatment we can give them. But now we can prevent it. We can prevent serious RSV infection through an RSV immunization that works to keep children out of the hospital. Studies on the RSV immunization show that it reduces the need for hospitalization by 80 to 90 percent. That's an incredible number. In New York and Vermont, we have some of the highest RSV immunization rates in the country, and we are seeing fewer RSV hospitalizations and fewer PICU admissions. Anything we could do to help prevent him from getting sick, um, particularly RSV, why wouldn't we do it? We hear RSV mentioned all the time. We talk about it before the holidays. We say, don't pass the baby, don't kiss the baby. Now we have something to protect the baby from this very scary virus. I would much rather give my baby a shot than be standing by their bedside wishing I had. <laughs> 